welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on the four easiest eco swaps that you can make inside of your kitchen. I started swapping like eco-friendly alternatives into my house about four or five years ago. Um, since doing that, I have cut down a lot on the waste and um, one-off containers, plastic that I go through. And I know a lot of you guys are trying to find really simple ways to make a big difference in the environment. These are also super affordable ways to save money. And I think that like people forget that being eco-friendly doesn't have to be expensive. In the long run, it can actually save you a lot. So today I'm going to go over the first four things that I did. They're also what I think are probably the cheapest ways and the quickest ways to get started. So the first thing that I ever swapped out for an eco-friendly alternative was my straws. I know that sounds dumb, but I have really sensitive teeth and I used to use a plastic uh, throwaway straw even when I was home. And um, those are fairly cheap, but also they're one-time use. They do not save well. And if you've ever seen the videos online of them getting stuck inside of animals, fish, and all of our wildlife, it is really, really sad. So this is the first straw that I ever bought. This is a BPA plastic free straw that I found at my local grocery store. Um, it was in the canned good aisle and it is by a company, I think it's by Ball Mason Jar. And so it's a uh, wide mouth. It's got uh, a lot of, it's great for smoothies and then regular drinks as well. Uh, just this past year, I have switched to a glass straw I have used metal straws, but I don't really like the taste of them, so I don't use them. This glass straw is very durable. I have dropped these on the floor before. They don't just break on a whim. Um, they don't just snap when you put a little bend to them. Um, and they come in like a little bit of a tilt, so like it is similar to like the flex straws you see. And if you're worried about using these outside of the house because you have to carry them, uh, for Christmas, I asked for a reusable straw set, and it came with this amazing carrying case. And this carrying case carries one of these glass straws and this really sturdy, um, this really sturdy container. So you just rinse it, pop it back in, snap it, and throw it in your purse and go. I really like these because uh, since I started using them. I have, let's say over four years, probably gone out to eat, even if one time a week, that's about 200 times I have kept a uh, plastic straw out of the landfill, never mind the fact that, um, you know, just using them at home has helped as well. So that was my first swap. It's pretty cheap. I think these were around $4. This with the case is around $14 on Amazon, and I'm pretty sure a pack of like just regular extra long glass straws. I think a set of eight comes with a cleaning tool to get in there. These are also all dishwasher safe. Um, I think this was $9.99 for a pack of eight and also came with just like straight versions of these, so four straight, four bent straws. So that was my first swap. My second swap has to do with my morning routine. And the only reason I even thought about this swap was because a couple years ago, I bought a Keurig. Everybody I know seems to have a Keurig. Uh, I would go visit family, visit friends. They all have Keurigs. And the thing is, like, they're super convenient, but they are wasteful. Um, I do find that buying the single packs of, like, the little plastic coffee cups, while they save me a ton of money from getting coffee out, and it's convenient when you are just need a quick cup of coffee on the run, uh, I do find it kind of wasteful that they have like individual plastic cups. One of my grocery stores actually carries a biodegradable cup, but not all grocery stores do. So one of the bigger markets that more people shop at didn't even have a biodegradable um, Keurig cup option. So this is my second swap. This is a reusable K cup. These are available um, on Amazon. Uh, you can also find these little cups uh, in Target and I think, I haven't been to Walmart in years, but maybe Walmart. I know that they actually have these by the coffee aisle now. And it's got this super fine mesh strainer in the bottom. You can see it on the side as well. You put your coffee grounds in here, you snap it closed, and then you pop it into your Keurig. 
just like you would a regular K-cup. And I really like that because these have saved uh, one cup of coffee out of the, the Keurig pod, out of the landfill for the past uh, year and a half, two years. So that's, if it's just me and I'm just counting myself, that's, you know, almost six, 700 uh, plastic cups that didn't go to the landfill. And my husband also uses this now. We just grind our coffee. If you have a regular uh, drip coffee maker, obviously you're currently not using that much plastic. And so, you know, these are probably not a great alternative to go out and get a Keurig, but I know so many people who have a Keurig and I think these are a great uh, eco-friendly alternative to um, making sure that you are not using little plastic throwaways each and every time. And the grocery store that I do go to that has the biodegradable ones is Sprouts. I'm assuming Whole Foods would have them and you can probably find them on Amazon, but I just like that there's nothing to throw away with this uh, reusable one. The third thing that I replaced in my kitchen to save on plastic waste was Ziploc bags. These ones are by ReZip. These are my favorite. I got these at Target. So these are the gallon size ones. Um, these replace the actual gallon size uh, Ziploc bags that I had in my pantry for a long time. These replace all the snack size ones. I have one in between that are, I think, quart size ones that you can put a sandwich in. These I put in like fruit chopped up, veggies chopped up, crackers. These I use more for storage in the fridge to pack like leftovers in. Um, although they do work in other cases and these are also amazing to travel with. I'm not gonna lie, I put cords in here, tiny little things I don't wanna lose, like my earrings. Um, and so I used to go through a couple boxes of Ziplocs every couple months. I would say probably the gallon size ones, I was going through one box every two months, but these smaller ones that I was putting sandwiches in and my lunches in, I was going through about a box a month. So. These have really stopped a lot of the plastic waste that was happening uh, when I was packing my lunch. And again, once you buy these, they last like something like 300 washes, but I don't even put them through the uh, dishwa dishwasher. Um, they are dishwasher safe, but I just rinse them out if there's nothing like liquid or sticky in them. And um, one of the best things about it is once I bought these, I obviously haven't needed to buy Ziplocs in a very long time. And so I think packs of these are anywhere from like uh, 10 to $15, you can get two or three per pack. But um, we only needed three packs for our whole house. And uh, I just come home, rinse them out, put them in a dish strainer. They dry out really nicely. These have lasted quite a long time. Um, and I am really excited. I know that these are leak proof as well, I'm pretty sure. Yep, and they're BPA free. So these are really non-toxic, great alternatives to Ziploc bags. The fourth and final swap that I made when I was going eco-friendly in my kitchen was reusable grocery bags. And this is kind of like from the store to the kitchen, but um, I have so many reusable bags, it's insane. But I wanna say this, first of all, because more stores are offering them, you can now find them from anywhere from like 99 cents to a uh, dollar ninety nine when you check out if you forget your bag it's an easy way to build up a good storage of them like if you need eight or ten for bigger grocery hauls you could get one a week or one every two weeks over the course of a couple months and slowly cut down on your plastic use the only reason I really started investing in a lot more of these is because my some of the grocery grocery places I go don't have paper bag options and that is happening more and more around um, the country. So, but there are places that actually just give them away when you buy groceries. So this one I got from the grocery store. I'm pretty sure this one was complimentary. I bought this one because it supported a, a farm in the area that we live. And so this is a, a canvas one. This is a reusable, uh, plastic type. It's a recycled reusable poly um, propylene bag. So this is recycled. Um, canvas. Uh, there are also just these very like thin. Um, this one, oh, I actually got this one at a vegetarian festival. 
lettucey plants. I thought it was really cute. And so I'm pretty sure this also came with something that I bought. Um, and then you don't always have to use like an actual bag meant for like reusing. Uh, this was from a purchase a friend made and they had a couple extra of these bags laying around. Um, these are the Lululemon bags. They are super sturdy. They even snap closed and they last forever. I have like four or five of these now that I've accumulated and they work amazing and they're not really meant to be like grocery bags, but they're reusable. You can also just use totes around your house uh, if you don't want to go out and buy anything. And along that line for Christmas this year, I also asked for uh, produce bags. I think these were $16.99. Um, we ended up with quite a few of them. I think there was like 12 or 15 in this pack um, and what these are are just tiny produce bags that draw strings shut. They're mesh. They come in multiple sizes and like this one's really big. I put lettuce in this one. You would go to the store and instead of using those single-use bags that you pull off and they're plastic, you would use these and um, they're breathable. You put your produce in it, you zip it up. Um, I don't zip it up all the way to make it easier for the cashiers to like reach in and pull them out if they have to, but I have seen them scan like a sticker through these and they also have ones that are actually clear. Um, these are washable, reusable, and I just take a couple with me. That was one of the biggest places that I was bringing home plastic that I didn't even realize. Let's say you buy two heads of lettuce, uh, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, and a couple apples. That's six of those individual I'll pull off bags at the store um, because some of my stores don't wrap all the produce and I prefer not to get it pre-wrapped or pre-portioned if I can. So these have been a huge uh, lifesaver and they have cut down on tons of plastic from coming home with me. So if you guys are looking for uh, simple ways and simple swaps, I suggest trying these really cheap, really fast, really easy swaps like straws, Keurig cups, Ziplocs and anything that you can take to the store with you to avoid getting a plastic bag. Thank you guys so much. Let me know what swaps you've already made in your house and what ones have been the most expensive, what have been the cheapest in the comments below. And of course, if you like this type of video, hit the like button so I know to make more of them and subscribe so you don't miss a video with me. Until next time, thanks guys.